Hare Krishna Prabhu, please accept my humble obeisances, all of Lord Shri Prabhupada. We welcome the devotees to a morning Bhagavatam class. This morning, the class will be on Canto 1, Chapter 7, Verse 9, and the topic of this chapter is the son of Drona punished. And we are fortunate and blessed to have His Holiness Chandramali Swami with us. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances, all of Lord Shri Prabhupada. Jai, thank you, Mother Anasuya. My obeisance is to you and to all the devotees. Thank you, Maharaj. And it's all yours, Maharaj. Okay. 179, Srimad Bhagavatam. <clears throat> Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Sonaka Uvacha, Savai Nirvita Nirata, Sarvatro Pegsako Munahi, Kashyava Brahmitimetam, Atmarama Samam Vyasat. Translation. Let's see here. Sonaka, Sri Sonaka as Sutta Goswami. Sri Sukadev Goswami was already on the path of self-realization, and thus he was pleased with his own self. So why did he take trouble to undergo the study of such a vast literature? Srila Prabhupada's purport. For the people in general, the highest perfection of life is to cease from material activities and to be fixed on the path of self-realization. Those who take pleasure in sense enjoyment or those who are fixed in material bodily welfare work are called karmis. Out of thousands and millions of such karmis, one may become an atmarama by self-realization. Atmarama means self and arama means to take pleasure. Everyone is searching after the highest pleasure, but the standard for pleasure of one may be different from the standard of another. Therefore, the standard of pleasure enjoyed by the karmis is different from that of the atmaramas. The atmaramas are completely indifferent to material enjoyment in every respect. Srila Sukadev Goswami had already attained that stage and still he was attracted to undergo the trouble of studying the great Bhagavatam literature. This means that Srimad Bhagavatam is a postgraduate study even for the Atmaramas who have surpassed all the studies of Vedic knowledge. Hmm. Shri Bhakti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namane Namaste Saraswati Deve Gongravani Pacharine Nirvase Sasunya Vari Astyatya De Satarine Vancha Kalpa Tarubis Cha Kripa Sindhu Peva Cha Patita Nam Bhavane Bhyo Vaishnave Bhyo Namaho Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadara Sivasadi Gaur Bhakta Rinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare hmm. So the sages at Nami Saranya Sutta Goswami is the spokesman for the entire assembly and Sri Sunaka is the spokesman for the devotees. In other words, he's passing on the questions that the devotees have and Sutta Goswami is presiding over it and he's answering those questions. Um, interesting question here. Uh, Sukadev Goswami, he's already on the path of self-realization and he has attained that state. So why is he still studying such vast literature such as Srimad Bhagavatam? Why is he undergoing such trouble? The indication here that is there is something 
that Sukadev Goswami wants to learn. He wants to learn more, understand more, or even develop more. Because self-realization is not limited to a certain level of attainment. It is always expanding through both devotion, sentiment, and of course, knowledge also is always becoming more and more. So uh, the question is, why? And so we can understand that Sukadev Goswami, he is, uh, is Sukha, Sukha means parrot. He knows how to go for what is sweet. Parrot will go to for sweet fruit. They like sweet fruit. So he's given that name Sukha. And of course he's parrot because he's repeating. And therefore his, uh, his choice is not something small, it's something very great. So of course the answer here is that uh, Srimad Bhagavatam, as Prabhupada said, postgraduate study, even for the Atmaramas. So this knowledge in Srimad Bhagavatam is the complete knowledge. Uh, it's not only the highest of all spiritual knowledge, it contains knowledge in relationship to all other uh, relevant subjects. And Prabhupada makes that point in one lecture. It's not only about spirituality, it has principles of all the subjects of humankind that are needed to live a complete life. In other words, there's politics, there's economics, there's principles of, of health, there's principles of uh, philosophy, there is uh, sociology, um, everything you can consider to be needed for a human society to function is there in relationship to the highest knowledge, or that is devotion to Krishna. Mm -hmm. these, sub these subjects are not separated from Krishna. They're connected to Krishna through the Srimad Bhagavatam. And of course, the ultimate principle of Bhagavatam is pure devotional service to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. But it centers around, you know, the first canto you see, it's a lot about political activities. Arjuna, Krishna, Pandavas, the intrigue, the battle of Kudoshetra, the various uh, personalities involved. Uh, there's politics, there's adventure, there's uh, knowledge of social structure. All these things you find in Srimad Bhagavatam but it's not separate from Krishna. And the goal is not perfection in these areas, but it's perfection in, in devotion to Krishna. So Srimad Bhagavatam is called Amalam Purana. It's one of the, it's transcendental to all the three modes of material nature. It's above the mode of goodness because there are six Puranas in the mode of goodness, six Puranas that deal with the mode of passion, and six Puranas for those in the mode of ignorance. The Bhagavatam is Amalam Puranam, the pure Puranam, it's free from all Artha Kama Dhamma Moksha. And it gives the highest understanding of Bhakti. And it culminates in Krishna and Vrindavan and his transcendental pastimes with his most developed of all devotees, the gopis of Vrindavan. And the intricacies of this, the subtleties and the intricacies of devotion as it reaches higher and higher forms of expression. So um, this is relishable for those who are fixed in devotional service. It's a supreme relish not only do they gain knowledge, but they also 
of finding transcendental nectar pouring from the pages of Srimad Bhagavatam because they have reached the perfection of Bhagavatam, but now they are going into the sweetness. It's like you may sit down for lunch or a meal and first they serve you the, uh, sometimes they call it the starters, get you going in the meal, various little condiments and other things. Once your appetite is stimulated through these things, then they start bringing the meal in different categories. There's a whole science in serving food according to the types of food and how it progresses along. And then of course, after you've finished the meal, then here comes the dessert. And so dessert is considered to be the, uh, the cherry on the top of the cake or the, the sweet part of the entire meal, something that everyone looks forward to. So Bhagavatam is like that. Even though you sat and had a wonderful meal of satisfaction through various types of knowledge, Bhagavatam brings the sweet nectar of the cake of Krishna conscious devotion. Uh, and it's replete with all aspects. And sometimes it's called Paramahansa Samitam. And it's, made, may, it's meant for those who are on the highest platform of devotional service. Uh, anyone can read Bhagavatam, but they can only read it in relationship to the purports given by the great Acharyas, and particularly the present Acharya, Srila Prabhupada. Only then can they understand it. Like, but persons like Vyasadeva, they can read without the purports and understand the deeper meanings of Bhagavatam. But we need to hear the explanations from those who have realized that through their own practice of, shima, of devotional service. So therefore, when we read the Bhagavatam or hear the Bhagavatam, we always refer to the author of the Bhagavatam, Sukade, uh, uh, Vyasadeva, who is represented by the disciplic succession who make their life the presentation of the knowledge of Srimad Bhagavatam. Therefore, when we hear from Srila Prabhupada, it's as good as hearing from, from Srila Vyasadeva himself, <laughs> because it's non-different. The knowledge is brought down through disciplic succession. It's not changed. It is simply enhanced by the realizations of the personalities who are on that level of self-realized souls. Mm -hmm. So for Sukadev Goswami to take this service on was a great relish for him. But then there's, there's another reason behind it. And this is more or less the beneficial reason for everyone is that he knew he would have to speak this to Maharaj Pariksit. It became something that he knew even before he underwent this great study of Srimad Bhagavatam. So in order to benefit not only Maharaj Pariksit, but the whole world or the whole universe, he presented himself in the arena of those who were qualified to speak he was the most qualified and was given that, that service to speak Srimad Bhagavatam. And uh, therefore, this is what we have today, spoken by Sukadeva Goswami. But then again, the Acharyas give their purports and these purports are like additionals to enhance the Bhagavatam. Because if we were to read just the verses in the Bhagavatam, we would not be able to understand very much. You might get a little indication, but we would be puzzled to understand why certain subjects have been placed in the Bhagavatam. Because Bhagavatam contains 10 subjects. Um, I think it's in the, uh, hmm. I think it's the second canto 
chapter 10, verse number one. You could go to 2.10.1. I think it's 2.10.1. I might be wrong, but anyway, let's take a chance. 2.10.1. Yeah, and this is it. And this is, it says here, translation. Go to the translation. Mm -hmm. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, there are 10 divisions of statements regarding the following. We have Sarga and Visargas, that is the creation and sub-creation. Stana, planetary systems, Poshanam, protection by the Lord. Uh, Uttaya, the creative and principle, Manvantara, the change of manos, Anukuta, the science of God, Eroda, returning home back to Godhead, liberation, and the Sunam Bonum, which is uh, Asraya, means Sunam Bonum, refers to that shelter of all of these other nine subjects, and that is Sri Krishna himself, as it's given in the 10th chapter. A tenth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. So these are the ten categories of Srimad Bhagavatam. They don't necessarily follow a particular sequence, but generally certain cantos emphasize certain each one of these subjects. But you'll sometimes you'll find a mixture. For instance, creation and subcreation, you'll may mostly find in the first and second canto. Protection by the Lord you may find in many places. The perspective specifically in the seventh canto with Prahlad Maharaj like that. The changing of the Manus you'll find in the eighth canto. So you have a lot of different uh, categories and they are uh, mixed up in the 12 cantos put together. Liberation generally is the 11th canto. Sunam Bonum is the 10th canto, returning back home, back to Godhead, is ultimately the, the whole principle of Srimad Bhagavatam. The Bhagavatam is a great study. Um, it's recommended that devotees take time and study this. There's not only Bhagavatam itself, but you have books that have been published in relationship to explanations that help us go deeper into the science of Srimad Bhagavatam. I just came across another one just a few days ago by one devotee in uh, Chaupati, um, Goranga Darshana. He's done a summary of the 12 cantos of Srimad Bhagavatam, and he's also put together a whole schematic on how to study Bhagavatam in a very easy to follow and very graphic exp uh, display of the knowledge. So we have a lot available, uh, this knowledge. If you, if you just make this one book, Srimad Bhagavatam, your life study, you don't need anything else. Everything is there. Everything you need is, is more. And to learn Srimad Bhagavatam is a lifetime study. In fact, it cannot be learned in one lifetime. Mm. It can only be... Uh, appreciate it. Attempted in one lifetime. For instance, um, when Srila Prabhupada was on a morning walk in Germany, there was one very respectable and very friendly professor who joined Srila Prabhupada, Professor Durkheim. And uh, he really was attracted to Prabhupada. Prabhupada really liked him. He was a very pleasant gentleman and very intelligent. Uh, so they were speaking and Prabhupada brought up the subject of Srimad Bhagavatam. And then as Prabhupada was expl explaining Bhagavatam, at one point he said, and it takes uh, one month to understand each verse of Srimad Bhagavatam. One month. So uh, then Prabhupada turned to his devotees and said, how 
long is that? How many? The length of that 18,000 verses times one month. And some devotee was quite good in math and he came up with the answer 1,500 years. And then Prabhupada said, yes, you have enough to study. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Maharaj, when he was in Dhaka, he spoke on Srimad Bhagavatam for three consecutive months, not covering the same subject matter. Not, I'm sorry, not Bhagavatam, he spoke on the first verse. Janma Yasya Yataha, the first verse of Srimad Bhagavatam for, for three consecutive months. So uh, it's unlimited Srimad Bhagavatam and whatever little bit you can gain from it mm -hmm. is enough to uh, satisfy one completely with transcendental knowledge. So it's a great study. And here we see even great souls such as Sukadev Goswami, who was self-realized at the time of birth, when he came out from his the womb of his uh, mother, he was already 16 years old. He had stayed in the womb, not wanting to come out, not wanting to be part of the material world. His father, who was Vyasadeva himself, told him, encouraged him to come out. But he only came out after he heard his father narrate Srimad Bhagavatam while he was in the womb. So he heard the whole Bhagavatam, learned it all while he was in the womb. And then when he came out at 16, he left and immediately he knew he had a mission and went right to the place where Sukadeva Goswami had sat down on the banks of the Ganga waiting to receive his destiny uh, being bit by a snake bird and then leaving the body. But he wanted to hear that transcendental knowledge from a person who was qualified. So many people came, but after so many great souls, sages, and uh, saints came from all over, it was understood that Sukadeva Goswami was the person to do the service. And everybody listened for seven consecutive days. Srimad Bhagavatam is attractive not only to the humans, but even to lower animals. There's a story in Arissa, in, uh, near Bhuvaneshwara. This has happened about, I don't know, 15 years ago or more. It might even still be happening. There was a regular Bhagavat Saptaha where one very proficient Bhagavatam uh, scholar, but he was also a devotee, was reading every day Srimad Bhagavatam and commenting on it. So one year, to everyone's chagrin, a bull walked into the assembly where everybody was sitting. He just walked in, nobody knew where he came from, big bull. And then he found a place and he sat down and everybody was trying to pull the bull and get him out of there, but the bull was not moving. But nothing worked, so they just left him alone. And then the, the Bhagavad Saptava went on. And it's interesting, this is a documented story, that that bull, he sat there through the whole narration. When it ended, like everybody else, he got up and left. And like everybody else, he returned the next day to hear the second, third, and then all the way. He came for seven days. At the end of seven days, he left, and no one saw that bull again until the following year where he came again to listen to the same narration, or maybe a different narration on the Srimad Bhagavatam. So who that bull was, we don't really know. <laughs> But this is an interesting story that even, you know, lower animals take the form of being, uh, I guess maybe in some sense, they become better receptacles of the knowledge than some devotees do when they sit in a Bhagavatam class. But that's, a, that's another thing. So um, 
Yeah, this is Srimad Bhagavatam. If you make Bhagavatam a study of your whole life, then you'll understand everything about Krishna consciousness. You'll never be in anxiety. You always have all the knowledge you need. And that knowledge is susukam kartam of your young. It is uh, satisfying just to hear Srimad Bhagavatam, to discuss Srimad Bhagavatam, to you know, to distribute Srimad Bhagavatam. Anything connected with Srimad Bhagavatam is uh, greatly auspicious and uh, fulfills all of one's desires completely and perfectly. So this great literature is really something that we are very, very benefited by, by Srila Prabhupada's. And Prabhupada, we all know how much time and energy he spent in order to give us the Bhagavatam. When the end of the day was ended, Prabhupada would take a little rest and then he would wake up around midnight and then he would uh, do his translations and commentaries on Srimad Bhagavatam, sometimes for two, three, or maybe even more hours in the early morning. Out, the early morning. The Prabhupada did this regularly and he really wanted to finish Srimad Bhagavatam. He knew his time was short. And so uh, what he did was in 1970, uh, after having a, his third heart attack in 1967, I think it was not long after that, Prabhupada went to the 10th canto and gave narrations on the entire 10th canto, which was later printed as a Krishna book. And so he said, just in case I am not here to give you 10th canto, I want to give you 10th canto in this summary study. So you'll have 10th canto. And that was a Krishna book. The Prabhupada gave us that Krishna book. Uh, so that was uh, Prabhupada's desire to, uh, you know, he wanted to complete Srimad Bhagavatam, but he knew his time was short. Mm -hmm. um, he did come at least to 10 verses, 10, not 10, but 13 chapters of Srimad Bhagavatam. And fortunately, the devotees had uh, learned a lot from Srila Prabhupada, and then there was an assembly of, of a few scholars in our movement who later up took the work and finished the remaining cantos, which I thought was, I was thinking was quite outstanding in the, uh, in the work that they did. It was, it's, it's glorious how uh, interesting they presented Bhagavatam after Srila Prabhupada. Of course, no one can compare to Srila Prabhupada, but still, it was a good attempt to bring Srimad Bhagavatam. So um, it's important that we Nasta Prayeshu Abhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Sloke Bhakti Bhavati Naistaki. By regular attendance on the Srimad Bhagavatam and by service to the pure devotees, all that is troublesome to the heart is practically destroyed and loving service unto the Supreme Lord was known as Uttama Sloka is established as a irrevocable fact. So Bhagavatam talks about the importance of reading and hearing Bhagavatam as a daily requirement. And of course, there are some devotees now have made a, uh, there was one very senior devotee in our movement. He counted all the pages in the Bhagavatam and he divided it by 365, the number of days in the year, to see how many pages it would take to complete the Bhagavatam in one year. And the answer was 41. So based on that calculation, if one reads 41 pages every day, one will finish the Bhagavatam in one year. That's one way. I mean, there are so many ways you can approach the Bhagavatam. Best to approach it in a study for study way and carefully hear Bhagavatam or study under someone who is teaching Bhagavatam in a very systematic way. 
but whatever way you can do it, it is auspicious because Bhagavatam is, as it says in the Bhagavatam itself, that after the departure of Lord Krishna from the world, where did religious principles go? And that's explained in Bhagavatam itself. The religious principles took shelter of Srimad Bhagavatam after Krishna left the planet. So uh, there's no limit then. Uh, I just wanted to comment the next verse that, well, I don't know who, you, who is your next uh, speaker, but the next verse is one of the most important verses in the high entire Bhagavatam 1710. It's called the Atmarama verse. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave 61 meanings on that verse alone. 61 meanings. Sarvabhama Bhattacharya gave, I think, 11 meanings. And Lord Chaitanya then listened to his 11 and took it up to 61 different meanings. And those 61 different meanings are explained in the Chaitanya Charitamrita in one area. Where, which is called the Aparama chapter, where the Lord Chaitanya explains each of the words in the verse in so many different ways. It's one of the most. And it's also somewhat related to this particular verse. Why would a self realized soul, Atmarama, want to continue to study literature when he's already self realized? And so that verse really culminates with giving the different types of transcendentalists and their connection with transcendental knowledge. It's interesting. Uh, of course, I'm sure you have a speaker for tomorrow, but I would suggest that that verse be spoken by many because it's such a deep verse. You could give 50 classes on that verse alone. <laughs> It's so full of information. Prabhupada's purport is about two and a half pages long also. So that is upcoming. So those of you who are online here for class, make sure you hear tomorrow's class. Okay, so I'll stop there and see if there's any comments or questions. Thank you so much, Mark, for such a wonderful presentation of the importance of um, learning and understanding Srimad Bhagavatam. If there are any questions, any clarification, please, uh, you can either raise your hand or you can just uh, unmute yourselves and jump right in. Hare Krishna, Maharaj. Please accept my whole obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, as usual, for an in-depth class explained so simply. Um, I wanted to be sure about the text you were talking about for tomorrow. That is that uh, Canto 1, Chapter 7, Text 10 is what you're talking Correct. about. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. That's, your, that, that's your class? No. No, I don't, I don't preach in fact. Actually, and she is the one that's doing it. I think if I'm correct. That's why I'm keeping quiet, Mara. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually on your lap. Okay, that's funny. It's on the Suyu's class. Yeah, yeah she Marsh, on Friday. Would you, Marsh, would you like to give the class tomorrow instead of me, Marsh? Well, wonderful. you know, normally I would say, I would run and say yes, but tomorrow I'm, I'm traveling throughout most of the day. Oh, I missed it. Krishna. Yeah, so tomorrow is a different day for me. I'm just on my way to another country. So. Mm. But Marge, I, I will definitely take your, you know, your, your idea of um, sp splitting it up because I, I, when I look at the verse, it's like, you know, like a one, one mile. <laughs> yeah, you can also refer to Lord Chaitanya's, uh, you might find a nice, Purport and CC, which will be like a, a springboard, which will help to analyze whatever has been given already. Mm -hmm. Actually, Marge, I, I was just doing that way when you said that, because there is um, a, 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 in profitbooks.com, there is an explanation, a chapter on the, on the TLC. 
Dictates of Lord Chaitanya, chapter 15, where, it, where the, um, the Atharama verse in Shrimad Bhagavatam is explained. So I'm going to really study that. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, Lord Chaitanya really was um, animated when he was explaining each word, each word. It's not only like, like the main words, it was every word, every word of the verse, even the, the small words like cha and like that. Yes, I, I, was, I was just looking at the verse, so I'm going to really read this chapter of the TLC. And by your mercy and blessings, Marsh, please help bless me to be able to do some service to that verse tomorrow, because now I'm scared. <laughs> Okay, good. It's it's good to be a little, little scared. It makes you work harder. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you. <laughs> they say, you know, when you put pressure on and you get great results. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure's definitely on, Maharaj. <laughs> the pressure's definitely on. <laughs> Thank you. you they, Prabhupada used to say, you take coal, and black coal and you just put it under pressure for i don't know a long time thousands of years and then it becomes a diamond oh that's how diamonds are made it's by the earth's own process yeah there's a lot exactly. of pressure putting on on coal and then it changes into a diamond there's a whole process that the earth earth does it itself <laughs> If I could say something about it from a chemistry standpoint, not too detailed. Coal is carbon, diamond is also carbon. Uh -huh. So it's just it's just a matter of the heat rearranging the atoms inside the coal and making a different form and it becomes diamond. So it's just the heat inside the earth that changes it. It's very common knowledge. I mean, started chemistry wow. students we, we teach that stuff to them. It's the same thing. Coal, yeah, coal and diamond, say both of them are carbon. That's interesting. Thank, yeah, thank you for that, that point of knowledge. Yeah, Krishna's message. Bhuta Bhavana yes, has. It. Yes, yeah, he, he does. It. I was going to, yes, Bhuta Bhavana Prabhu. I'm, oh, my God, brother. Except my basis is Prabhu. Oh, the Shagodian Prophet. Please ask a question. Nice to see you, Prabhu. Nice to see you too. Very Krishna Maharaj. Thank you for a wonderful class, uh, as always. Um, I had one question which was regarding. Uh, well, the so first thing was I wanted to know about the um, the verse that you quoted, Nasta Pratyo Badrishu Nityam Bhagavata Sarya. So you you mentioned the translation that regulate attendance and classes of Bhagavatam and service to the person Bhagavat causes almost everything um, that's that's not meant to be in the heart to be destroyed. You said almost to nil, and I'd read in the commentaries of the Acharyas that that almost to nil means it, it brings you to nishta. And so what I wanted to understand is why would it not take you beyond Nishta? Because we're serving the pure devotee as well as here in the Bhagavatam. Or what takes us beyond that level? <laughs> Continuation of the same process. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I can say. That, that, that's the process itself. You know, book Bhagavatam, because Prabhupada said book Bhagavatam and person Bhagavatam together is the process. We get, we get Krishna through scripture, we get knowledge through Guru who is talking on scripture, and we also get that same knowledge coming through, you know, the Acharyas who are represented by the present Acharya. So it's the, I don't think there's anything you could add to it, except maybe, uh, this will be a simply philosophical speculation because you know, Bhagavatam is not different than Krishna. It's the literary incarnation of Krishna. So whatever is within Krishna in terms of transcendental knowledge is also there within Bhagavatam. And this needs to be unpacked. <laughs> uh, unpacking it means just uh, absorbing oneself in service. I think the following verses also kind of illustrate where, how that takes you ultimately to the perfection. I think, what is the next verse? Uh, uh, 1, 2, 19. I've, I forgot the particular Sanskrit. But if you take, because Prabhupada quotes these verses together 
uh, 1, 1, 2, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. These five verses. He's, he made that statement when he came on the Jaladuta. He put those five verses together as the complete package. And so there is, I think, some knowledge that is there in the next three verses that sort of helps to culminate the whole process of pure devotional service. Everything is there in there and in those five verses. Thank you. Can I ask one more question? Please. Yeah. Okay, so Maj, one thing that Dr. Tieta Maj spoke about, and I've heard the same thing said by Tamal Krishna Goswami and Ayendra Prabhu, they speak about the spiritual master giving away their own devotional credits. And I wanted to understand exactly what does this mean? And, and does, the, does the spiritual master's credits, are they finite? Do they run out? In other words, do the, when the guru no. gives... No, 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 Prabhupada says that uh, he makes fun of that where one guru comes to, one disciple comes to the guru and, and he says, you know, give me the, give me the, give me the uh, shakti. So he touches him and uh, he, now the shakti has been transferred and the guru has nothing. And he's like collapsing. He's out of energy. He's, he said, uh, he's crying. He said, I've given you everything now. I have nothing. <laughs> but transcendental knowledge, the transcend or bhakti shakti, you might say, the power of devotional service is, is not expendable. When you give it, it also increases. So those who give it, they're not they're not losing anything. They're simply simply just uh, transferring that in the form of mercy. That's all. Thank you, Marcus. Thank that you, Marcus. Yeah, that that makes sense. Yes, yeah, that makes makes sense. Good, you know, spirituality is not. It's never lost. It's always expanding. When you look at it from a material point of view, then there's something that is lost, something that is gained. Thank you, Marge. That was a deep question, Bodhavavana. Thank you for asking. I'm just making my notes here too, as, as you were asking. Are there other questions from devotees? Please do unmute. Yes, Pritchard has something to say. Go ahead. Hare Krishna Maharaj, thank you for the answers you're giving. It just makes it even more nectarian to hear this. Um, and even bringing up another way of describing Srimad Bhavatam as the Paramhamsa Samhita you mentioned earlier. It's just mind blowing to hear that because you know it's there that yes, those who are advanced um they can relish Bhavatam more but it's for everyone that's actually the text that i had earlier i had yesterday to talk about um and to hear it now described in another way the paramahamsa samhita samhita means compilation by the way you com mm. compile and mm. you know and paramahamsa is the topmost devotee you know so right. it's made for the topmost devotee that's so it's a wonderful way to describe it. I know very little Sanskrit, but at least those two words I do know. And so I appreciate you just uh, talking about it like that. Hare Krishna. And that's illustrated by uh, Rishabdev's teaching in the fifth canto, especially the fifth chapter of the fifth canto. That, uh, yeah, that particular chapter is a, is really powerful. <laughs> five, five, Canto five, chapter five. Maharaj, um, when you was um, towards the end of your class, and I just wanted to make sure that I, I think I missed half of the of your of your statement. You said that religious principles took shelter of Krishna after he left. Is that what you said, Maharaj? I missed no, that part. No, religious principles took shelter of Srimad Bhagavatam after Krishna left. 
Okay, so I got it the other way around. Oh, she went. Oh, okay. That's that's a verse. It's in the first canto, verse one three forty three. Yeah, if you look up that verse okay. one three forty three, you can put it up if you want. Okay, Brenda, can you pull it up, Brenda? It's towards the very end of the chapter. The 43rd verse. Go all the way down. There's only 44 verses in this chapter, so it's the next to the left. Yeah. Um, this Bhagavad is bringing has arisen just after the departure of Lord Krishna from his own abode, accompanied by religion and uh, persons who have lost their vision due to the dense darkness of ignorance in this age of Kali shall get light from this Purana. So it's risen after the departure of Lord Krishna. I think the, the next verse, uh, Prabhupada's purport also, also brings out the point, but the next verse also has, is related to this particular one. Go to the next verse, Brenda, the 44th. The last Over one. here, it says here, oh. Srimad Bhagavatam okay. is a sunam bone. I'll go back to, yeah, go back to the purport and the very end of the purport in the last verse, and you'll see. Go all the way down, Brenda. For, no, 40, 43 again. Oh, 43. Okay, go back to the, the 43rd one, Brenda. Mm -hmm. And we go to the end of the purport. And that's, yeah, just really, just all the way down. It says here, it says, and Sri Mabha is the suitable Lord Sri Krishna personified. We must therefore accept Srimad Bhagavatam as the direct representation of Lord Krishna. One who can see Srimad Bhagavatam can also see Lord Sri Krishna in person. They are identical. Thank you, Maharaj. Yes, uh, I think uh, Bhuta Bhavana Prabhu. Yes. Bhuta Bhavana, go ahead, Prabhu. Question. So, uh, so Maharaj, you know, in the Bhagavatam, I don't know the exact, I can't remember the exact wording, but there's a statement that um, Shukadev Goswami knows the meaning, and it says Vyasadev may or may not know, if I remember correctly. And I just wanted to understand, what, if you could elaborate on that point, that because we know at the same time, and you mentioned it in the class today, that Vyasadev is the, is the author of the, of the Bhagavatam. So how is it that Shukadev Goswami, he understands it, but Vyasadev may or may not? <laughs> um, Hare Krishna. <laughs> How can the author not understand? Well, he was also instructed by his guru, Narada Muni, when he first made an attempt to write transcendental literature that he hadn't touched Srimad Bhagavatam. It was only when uh, um, Narada Muni pointed out that you have explained everything, but you haven't explained the essence of spirituality, which is pure devotional service. Then he understood that he now, now had to present Srimad Bhagavatam. Um, <laughs> uh, Prabhupada says something interesting. I'm not sure exactly how this fits in. But Sukadeva Goswami was a, he was on the Paramahansa stage. And uh, Yasudev was also on a very high stage, but he says that because he was a householder, he wasn't completely as great as his son, Sukadeva Goswami. Because Sukadeva Goswami was not simply a, great soul he was actually some people say now this is the this is a this is a point of debate some people say he's an incarnation of radharani's parrot called sukha who appeared as sukadev goswami and that's mentioned also in one purana and then there's others who give other information that he is somebody else uh, so there's some concern about that but 
They say because getting um, the example was given here, like when Sukadev Goswami left and he was on his way to Maharaj Pariksit, um, he passed by a group of ladies who were bathing. Now he was without, you know, he was without clothes. He was just walking. But the ladies didn't feel threatened by his presence, nor did they do anything to anything different because they could see that he was completely transcendental <coughs> to the bodily platform. But when his father, who was coming after him, Vyasadeva, when he came by, the ladies saw, oh, and they immediately um, took precautions when they saw Vyasadeva. So based on this, we see that there's a difference in spiritual character between these two personalities. And Prabhupada said, because uh, Vyasadeva was a householder, he made distinctions between man and woman, whereas uh, Sukadeva Goswami didn't make that distinction. Mm -hmm. So based on this, this is kind of like around your question, it's not directly answering your question, but just to show the difference in quality. Mm -hmm. Hi, Krishna Maharaj. Um, the point that you made about the identity of Shikadev Goswami as the incarnation, uh, personal, personal incarnation of the Shuka parrot, a pet of Radharani, was confirmed in one lecture by Radha Maharaj. I wanted to just put it out because I used to listen to a lot of lectures by Radha Maharaj, and he told the whole story about how Shuka wound up uh, uh, it, with uh, Vyasadeva's wife and got pregnant and all that. He told the whole story. And when he started off, he did in fact say that. Radharani's uh, yeah. parrot. Yeah, it, start, it yeah. starts with Lord starts Shiva narrating. Yeah. It starts with North, Lord Shiva narr narrating Srimad Bhagavatam to Parvati. Parvati, yeah. And Parvati going to sleep. And <laughs> and Lord, it's a long story. Lord Shiva wound up getting upset with uh, Shuka. Yeah. And, and chased him, and Shuka wound up with Vyasadeva's. Uh, he took shelter of the womb of Vyasadeva's wife <laughs> in order to avoid Lord Shiva's tr trident. He, he threw his trident after Sukade, after the parrot. The parrot ran away. He was chased by the trident, but then he took shelter of the womb and he was saved. <laughs> it's kind of a little bit of a humorous story, but it's interesting. <laughs> Thank you, Maharaj. <laughs> Would like to ask devotees if you have any questions. It's such a nice um, topic, really getting deep into the Bhagavatam and really understanding the importance of it. Yes, Sri Devi Mataji, please go. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Anasiya. Please accept my humble obeisances, Guru Maharaj. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to the Holy Spirit. Srila Prabhupada. But Bhagavatam. Uh, Guru Maharaj, I have a question on this point. We all hear how important it is to read, to study, to hear the Srimad Bhagavatam. But I'm, I'm, I'm wondering whether does one have to reach a certain level of purification before one can really get into that uh, steady habit of reading, studying Srimad Bhagavatam? Because a person... Well... When you get to a certain level of purification, it becomes natural and becomes attractive. And then you make that, you'll make that a regular part of your day. You look forward to it. But until you get there, you just have to schedule it and don't break your schedule. That's all. Okay. So, you know, it's like Vaiti Bhakti comes, from Vaiti Bhakti comes Raganuga Bhakti. Raganuga Bhakti is not the beginning. Attraction comes after following the principles for, you know, for a period of time. 
Yes. So force yourself. Just for just put it in schedule. Put it in your schedule and do it every day. That's all. And you'll develop that taste. Mm -hmm. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ansiya. That was a nice question, Sri Devi. Thank you for asking. Are there other questions from devotees? Marge, when you were speaking on Srimad Bhagavatam, Marge, and you're speaking about how important it is to um, not look at it as a, a reading competition, more really taking the time to read and eat virgin, really, you know, learn about it more. Marge, is, um, we've heard, I've actually also noticed, you know, like young, young devotees, you know, just very new, trying to, to read and trying to figure that the, whatever they read on themselves. Would you suggest, Marge, that when someone is reading and learning Bhagavatam, or even Bhagavad Gita, or any of the scriptures, that it is with a group of devotees, with us, you know, with, with someone who has, who has a good knowledge of it, or is it more like a group, like what they do in college, like a, what, what they call it, um, yeah, some kind of a group. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know. A little Sangha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, um, what is it? Bodhiantas parasparam kotiantas chamam nicham tushyanti cha ramanti cha. That the thoughts of my pure devotees dwell in me, their lives are surrendered unto me. They derive great satisfaction and bliss, enlightening one another and conversing about me. So bringing it into a discussion atmosphere will enhance the, um, the knowledge, enhance the ability to uh, understand. It should be led by someone who knows, and then they can lead a group of people to discuss it like that. It's not shut the, you, you can have your own little group and everyone is more or less on the same level. You may not go very far. It's always good to have someone who is fixed, who is known to have that knowledge, and then then you can start a discussion group in that way and get much benefit from that. Thank you, Maharaj. That's a question by Lavania. Mataji, please go ahead. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Srila Prabhupada. Um, thank you for the uh, wonderful class, Guru Maharaj, and a nice discussion. Um, and I have a small question, like uh, how to present uh, Srimad Bhagavatam uh, to new people, Guru Maharaj? Like, uh, <laughs> especially uh, the newcomers, uh, are, um, they don't know about anything about Krishna consciousness, but uh, uh, they are trying to uh, learn something. And uh, Bhutta Bhavana, are you still there? Yes, Marge. Can you answer this question? I think you have that, uh, you know, Adhikari to, to deal with this question, I'm sure. How do you present Srimad Bhagavatam to new people? Well, okay, from what I've picked up from yourself, Marge, and, and other seniors who, who are realizing this, I think the key thing is to, um, actually, well, I'll share something that Tamal Krishna Marge told me. So when, we first, when he first came to the UK, and he was studying, I asked him this question about doing the university preaching programs. And he told me, he said, you have to know your audience. He said, the first thing is you need to understand who your audience is and what are their interests. And then what you do is you try to show them how the Srimad Bhagavatam will assist or connect to something that they're interested in. So that was the main thing. And, and then also, I, I, the other thing I've heard from seniors is also building relationship with the people. I see that Radha Maharaj is very strong in that, in that and also his disciples, building a relationship with the people that you would like to help so that they, under, so they feel that they can trust you and that they're open to you so that when you share, then it's much more likely to be taken seriously. So those are just two principles that, that I picked up. Radha Good, Maharaj. thank you. That's the perfect. Thank you very much. That was a beautiful answer. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, I know you commended Buddha Bhavana Prabhu already, but I'd like to, if you don't mind, um, share a pastime with Bhaktivedanta Maharaj connected to this, if you don't mind. Can I do that? Please. Okay. Yeah. So one of the things that he used to do, 
actually he did that consistently, knowing the audience was if he didn't know, he actually would try to find out even before he speaks. It was that important to him. And one time um, I was driving him. We were in Maryland going towards Washington, D.C. to a program um, at a radio station. Now, imagine the kind of people that listen to the program radio, all kinds of people listen to a uh, 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 radio station. And the overwhelming majority are not devotees. Okay? And he's going to give this. He had never been to that station before. So, and I knew a little bit about Washington DC being you know, in Kami time. So he started asking me, um, do you know the station? I said, yes. And then he began to ask me the kinds of people that come to that station. Is, I still remember WDCU, um, um, it's a university radio station, university radio station. and I. Actually, I've been there uh, to, to talk about study skills. So I knew the people, I even knew the moderator. So I described a little more and more and more and more to him. That right. So it was that important to him. I just wanted to make that, that point that he needed to know, even when he was talking in the radio station, that many people listen to in a, a, a city like Washington, DC. He still wanted to know what kind of people and so that he could actually prepare appropriately. So it's that important. So thanks for asking the question and thank you, Maharaj, for, for you know. And with the Bhavana people for all you know, throwing in, like this is one Hare Krishna. Yeah. A preacher wants to make a difference. He just doesn't want to present something and then that's it. He wants to make a difference. He wants to reach the audience. And therefore, he thinks in terms of what are some of the, you know, characteristics and qualities of the people who are listening, which might be of interest or you know, maybe beneficial. That's that's an intelligent creature. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Maharaj. Any other questions from devotees? Yes, Buddha Bhavana Prabhu. Yeah, so it's... It's okay, <laughs> please, don't apologize. It's nice. So Maharaj, we know in the first verse of the Bhagavatam, it ends Param Satyam Deen Mahi. And we know that the Bhagavatam is, is connected or has a natural connection with the Gayatri Mantra. Could you speak something on the connection between the Bhagavatam and the Gayatri Mantra, please, Maharaj? Bhagavatam and the Gayatri Mantra? Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> the Gayatri Mantra is the beach mantra, the seed mantra for all mantras. Uh, Gayatri is given at initiation where the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is available for everyone and anyone. Uh, not that the Hare Krishna Mantra is any less, it's just that the Gayatri Mantra is, is the foundation for understanding all the knowledge that is given in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Um, I think if you ask Shiva Ramaraj this question, you would get a complete answer because he's been he's been giving classes on Gayatri mantras as a seminar presentation. But Gayatri mantras, they say it's the the sound of Krishna's flute which pervades the entire universe. Gayatri mantra really refers to the first verse in Gayatri. There are seven, seven, not verse seven, the set, first line in Gayatri, there's seven lines. The first one is Gayatri, and that is Brahma Gayatri. And the second one is um, Guru Gayatri, and then Guru Gayatri expanded. And Gaur Gayatri, Gaur Gayatri expanded, then Krishna Gayatri, and then um, the last one, the last line really, the last line refers to Srimati Radharani. That's really deep. Mm -hmm. So um, it is the complete science of knowledge compressed. And so it says that Gayatri in that Bhagavatam is expanded from Srimati, from Gayatri. Um, Shiva Ram Maharaj in his book, Navabraja Mahima, the uh, seventh volume, 
he dedicates the entire volume to the explanation of the Gayatri Mantra. And that's really, really detailed. Showing what each word means in relationship. Because the words itself are really hiding what actually is behind the words. It's almost, it's a very Gupta, it's a very Gupta mantra. What, what you actually chant is, is just something that is really hiding like uh, Radha and Krishna's pastimes in Sri Vrindavan Dham. Um, I can't give you a clear and complete answer on that because I haven't studied the relationship between the two. But uh, if you go to that section of Shivaram Maharaj's explanation in the uh, Nuvraja Mahima, verse, volume number seven, that's not a small volume. You can... Uh, <laughs> It's like that answer requires, you know, like, wow. But there is, you know, Bhagavatam is expanded from Gayatri. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you. Because Bhagavatam is the Vedanta Sutra and then coded into Brahma Sutras and from Brahma Sutras taking and expanded into Srimad Bhagavatam. So the Vedanta Sutra is the essence of all transcendental knowledge. Which is found within the Gayatri Mantra. Thank you, Maharaj. I was just Googling the book Navya Raja Mahima on Google and Amazon has the volume seven on Kindle and it's 319 pages. So yes, it is that's not. Just on, it's just on Gaia Tree, that's on that whole Yes, volume. just that one volume. <laughs> that's quite a book. Yes, they have it in the Kindle format, form or whatever you call it on, on Amazon. Just wanted to let devotees know whoever is interested. Are there other questions from devotees? Other um, clarification? Other points? Just don't want to miss anybody from this list. Marge, is, if there isn't questions. Oh, Sri Devi, yes, please go ahead, Mother. Thank you, Anasya. Guru Maharaj, I have a little practical question regarding uh, reading of Srimad Bhagavatam. How can we keep the interest going? Because we did have a group and we were meeting together and we were reading. And then one by one, you know, it's sort of people petered out uh, and people dropped off. And then after some time, there was just like one or two people and then something happened and something happened. And finally, it's all, you know, gone. So how can we drum up the truth? <laughs> Obviously, there wasn't enough stimulation in the discussion to keep it interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so you have to stimulate the discussion by using, you, you, just to sit there and describe it is one thing, but use the words of the acharyas, which give commentaries on the, on the verses. Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur has commented on the entire Srimad Bhagavatam verse by verse. Hmm. So we can uh, refer to these commentaries and discuss those also as we are reading Srimad Bhagavatam? They can support your discussion. It's not that you have to go right directly into that as the main part of the discussion. In other words, I think the point, the answer to your question, and somehow it wasn't interesting enough to keep people connected. Hmm. So you have to see how to make it, make the presentation interesting. And that's how you present it, how you, how you organize your, your group. Hmm. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Uh, yes, there's a lot of competition for all these, I mean, with 
all the weapons of mass destruction around, uh, we really have to make our presentation interesting enough to capture the attention of our audience. Hmm. Thank you for thank you for guiding us on this. My humble obeisance. Hare Krishna. And I think it also goes back to what Bhutabhavna Prabhu was sharing that he was told by Tamakasha Maharaj just to know the audience and accordingly um, preach. Oh, I think that might probably help knowing the audience background. So, yes. Are there other questions from devotees? Any clarification? I don't want to miss anybody. Just making sure that we have all um, asked our questions. If there are no questions, Maharaj, would you like to end with a round of chanting, Maharaj? A round? It's your call. Okay. Yeah, of course. Hmm. We can end with one round of Japa. Okay, Srimad Bhagavatam Kijai, we wish you the best tomorrow, Anasuya. Please, Maharaj, please pray for me all day, Maharaj. <laughs> That's a deep verse. <laughs> well, if you keep your camera off, and then you can just read from whatever, nobody will know you're reading from me. <laughs> Maharaj, there are a few devotees here to attend us, so you, you just give it away, Maharaj. They're going to know that I'm reading. <laughs> It was one devotee, he was asked to give a class. This was in the very early days of Krishna consciousness. So what he did was, it was in the winter time. So he put a coat on and, and he put a tape recorder inside the coat with the wires coming up to his ears with the headphones on. And that was also hidden. And what he did, he would push the button and then he would hear Prabhupada say something, and then he pushed the button off, and then he'd say, and then he repeated. So he just repeated everything Prabhupada said. Ah. That, was, that was the class, and everybody said, "Wow, that was a good class." <laughs> Later on, they found out he just all he did was listen to Prabhupada and repeated it. <laughs> that was the class. I, I do know from our march that on propavani.org there is a lecture on that verse that Prabhupada gave in Vrindavan. So I'm definitely going to go there and get <laughs> some notes from Prabhupada too. Yeah, the, the, with a little research, you can find so much, you know. So yes, Maharaj. Thank you, Maharaj. Okay. Sri Krishna, Chaitanya, Rune Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadara, Sivasadi Gaur, Bhaktivindam, Sri Krishna. Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadara Sivasri Gaur Bhakta <coughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari.
Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Hari, Krishna Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Hari, Hari Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Hari, Hari Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari 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 Rama Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari Rama Hari Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Hari 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 Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari 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 Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. 
Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Hari Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, 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 Hari Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Krishna Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Krishna Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna. 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. 
Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Hari, Hari Hari, Krishna Hari Krishna. Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Thank you to all the devotees for joining us. Vancha kaputi biyastra kripa sindhu veva cha pati tanam bhavanevya vaishnavevya namo namaha. Have a wonderful day, devotees, and thank you so much for a wonderful class, Maharaj. Thank you.